if there's other people that have questions or want to, this is an open discussion. I don't want to, you know, <coughs> you and then you. So, in an upcoming session, I'd like to really see it as a panel. So, I, it was a roundtable discussion, but it was my, I had the impression that it was going to be a panel. So, for example, on the topic of performance metrics, I was really looking to hear about and feedback was solicited, and then that feedback that was solicited was the basis for the conversation. So I was really looking to hear um, on the topic of performance metrics, what's being done from an industry standpoint, or what's being done collectively amongst the people that are members of the association, and then to hear about some best practices or some recommendations. And, and I know it's a moving target, that's just an example. No, it's great. We want um, everything is great feedback. We, yeah. Yeah, no. Please. Yeah, so it was just, I was looking to kind of hear that. I thought the, the piece on the presentations about the technology was great. But the round tables, I liked it. I just was looking, I was thinking it was going to be panel boring. Well, and it's great feedback, so like more like a question and answer type thing. Because now Monica did a panel with more of a presentation theme, and so I, so a panel more of an interactive mm -hmm. panel. So uh, I think uh, we could pro to solve the problem of you know if you miss something in another session, you can always have the roundtables uh, and host it as like a you can open up a WebEx. We can have technology solve that issue, so you can actually record. Each session, and you can actually get an email up to you. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the, the vendor, the way you have a WebEx account, you know, just uh, open it up, start the meeting, and just record it. I love it. And you know, a great, just the yes and to that is we could probably find a sponsor or two that would love to do that as a sponsor yeah. to get their name out oh, with good. probably. With my with with my negotiating head without having to pay. <laughs> Just saying. Uh -huh. so wait, anybody else? <laughs> I, yeah. Um, it's what Marcel was saying. What about um, if the topics were a a panel discussion or a presentation, like what we had in the big room, and then the roundtable breakouts? were on those same topics then we have smaller discussions? I mean, does any Well I mean that even to work? that well even to that end, if there were if from a maintenance standpoint, there could be three core pieces to that panel discussion and maybe the round table takes one of each of those pieces and gives each person so for example, social media is a pretty broad topic and maybe there's the broader discussion about social media, but then there's one specific roundtable about SMS, there's one about Twitter and Facebook, there's one about the upcoming technology, and then how it actually interacts, how, how those interact across the two. That might be an idea. Um, so that would be the setup. And then, so topics, one of the, what we wanted to do this morning was also talk about the f future topics. Um, it doesn't have to be any fancy titles, but things that um, I heard metrics to do it to that as an ongoing thing. Some topics, you know, like Luke is going to do the not, not to put Luke on the spot, but in social media, basically what's next, and that's always been a huge conversation at our pan at our uh, conferences. At topics that weren't here, or topics that weren't here that you like more on. Employee development. Okay. So like. Training. How you train your staff, what you go over, those People should be responding to you, but I like the idea of a, um, an organized printed book to take back or a flash drive. Are you envisioning getting that the weeks leading up to the conference or actually at the conference? Maybe the weeks leading up to the conference, yeah. Okay. You can connect with different people in the book. And, and I'm sorry, I just have to harp a little bit on, y'all got the paper surveys, but we will be sending out more things following up, and if you guys don't respond to it, 
I got, I got 13 responses last year on the follow-up survey. So, so um, and then Summer, Summer, can I put you on the spot? So, did you run it? Oh, I thought the round tables were really educational. I liked how it was a smaller group. I did like that. And you could hear how other call centers work. God said, I know how mine is, and everybody else's is so different. Um, and I really saw, I like hearing about the different CRM programs because I'm not very familiar with it because we don't, we're still trying to get one. So that's what I like. Thank you. I wanted to add something about CRMs for my people at Monica and then some are for the yes and to this. Sorry, but I'm going to keep pushing, driving it home. I believe, I, did I, did, did I not pinpointing our two shoppers, but okay. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. The CRM, I know, so I have public stuff, which is now Excel. I get a lot, a lot, a lot of phone calls, and I get visits, and I love it. As you, can, you know, I'm a hand. Love it. And I think that is something we could keep in mind is that, you know, people with CRMs, you know, you could have the same CRM for 10 years and you're an expert, and then all of a sudden you have a brand new CRM, you've changed everything, and it's nice to have that hands on. And I almost thought about if we have some of those sponsors, we should be able to set up a little hands-on demo out there with some of their end users that are here at the conference. So we, you, you know, we talked about knowledge base. Um, I can, I, I can tell Cecilia's story. This is, you know, Cecilia is implementing uh, public stuff. She's at the city of Aurora, Illinois, and they were very helpful to us as well when we implemented. We went to visit, and we have been visiting each other and, sh and during her implementation. And there were things that happened that, that my system, which was like the beta one originally, so I had all the bells and whistles, and she came and she said, I don't have that icon, or I don't, and really she wouldn't have known unless she came, came by me or we had a conversation. So maybe hands on, you know, maybe little stations with different CRM companies and that's another way to get sponsors.